guys, spring has finally sprung and I don't know about you, but I have had this overwhelming desire just to blow away the cobwebs and just kind of freshen up our lives, freshen up the house, freshen up our meals. Our day-to-day -day lives just need that bit of a boost. We all kind of get stuck in a bit of a rut where the house gets on top of us, we're going to the same places all of the time, we're eating the same things. So I have teamed up with HelloFresh to share with you four ways that you can freshen up your lives and they're all really easy things to do you can start doing them right now. So number one is a spring clean. Now I know this sounds like such a big chore and I think whenever people think of a spring clean they think of three or four days of intensive cleaning but it doesn't have to be this big monumental task. Right now take me with you, take your phone, just open up the windows, open up your back door and let some fresh air in. It might well be raining, it might be a bit miserable but every morning once we're all up and we're out of bed I open the windows, not all of them, it's a great thing to do first thing in the morning to kind of wake everyone up, wake up the house, get rid of that overnight boy smell because I live in a house full of boys and quite frankly my house does smell in the mornings. And then cleaning wise, break it down into tasks. If you're a busy working mama or you're just busy in general, not everyone has days that they can dedicate to doing something like this. This morning go and strip all of your bedding and that's one thing done. And then maybe this afternoon you could work on dusting behind the radiators or dusting above the curtain poles. Break it down into manageable tasks. Get your family to help as well. Jasper absolutely loves it when I give him a little spray bottle of water and a little cloth and he can go around and he can dust the sides and yeah he really feels like he's helping. So pop on some music, open those windows and doors, get your house nice and fresh and I can guarantee you it will make you feel so much fresher. My second tip for freshening up your life is to work on meal times. I feel like I get stuck in this rut where I kind of just see food as fuel. I'm a busy working mum, I don't always feel like I have time to think of exciting meals and it ends up being a bit of a chore, especially when I've got a toddler and a baby moaning and wanting my attention. I do find that I end up just thinking, right, if I don't eat, I'm gonna be grumpy, I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be sluggish, I'm gonna be hangry. So I just eat for the sake of eating because I know that I need to and I really want to kind of get that passion back, get that spark into meals. We sit down, eat together rather than us all eating different things at different times, having a TV on, looking at our phones and not having, you know, a good meal time together. So this past week we've been using the HelloFresh subscription service. Now it's something that we've used before and we've absolutely loved it. So if you don't know, HelloFresh is a food subscription service. You choose your box, we've gone for the family one which is for four people and you can give any dietary requirements. For example, Pete doesn't like fish which I just think is absolutely crazy and once a week you have it delivered to your door it couldn't be simpler and you have the recipes and a box full of delicious and nutritious ingredients to make yourself meals for that week. Now the ingredients are all really high quality, they make you feel good just looking at them. The recipes are created by the chefs at HelloFresh, they do different collaborations, they did one with Jamie Oliver a little while ago, we had that box. Yeah they're just, they're so creative, really really, I can absolutely guarantee that it won't be a meal that you have ever cooked yourself before. It makes you feel like you're making restaurant quality food, but at home. So I'll quickly show you how we got on with our meals for the week. Okay, our HelloFresh box for the week has arrived. I'm so excited to see what's in there. So let's open it up and see what ingredients and yummy menus we've got. We've got the meat and kind of things that need to go in the freezer and the fridge straight away are in this one and then we've got all the vegetables and sauces and spices and things like that and then we've got our menus over here in here it's a folder which you put all of the menus in so that you can kind of keep your own recipe book and then we've got some perks here which I will open up so some vouchers 20% off of Bowdoin free graze box some free beer people enjoy that one what's fab as well and I think this must be new because I don't remember having this before is that each package has got the ingredients for each particular meal in so for example this package has the green label and that correlates with the green label on this one I'm not going to show you the menus just yet because I'm going to wait until I make them a little bit of suspense carrots lots of carrots Guys, it's been a long day. I'm ready to try something new, have a lovely new meal. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for beef enchiladas because they look nice and healthy, delicious, and not too complicated to make. 
products we have got beef mince, sour cream, kidney beans, one onion, some baby gem lettuce, whole wheat flour tortillas, we've got a lime, we've got some tomato passata, we've got some cheese, some vine tomatoes and some Mexican spice. And what I love is that it tells you how much, so you need two tablespoons and each one of these is one tablespoon. So there's no measuring out, you simply pop two of these in. Perfect. So on my card I've got obviously what it's going to hopefully look like, all of the ingredients here, how much time it's going to take to cook it, the kind of heat and how many of your five a day are in it. So this one has five of your five a day. And then on the back it gives you step by step instructions with pictures, it tells you how much of each ingredient you need, it couldn't be simpler. Okay guys, so this is what it's supposed to look like and this is what it does look like. I could have definitely done with baking them for a little bit longer I think, it does look a little bit more browned on here, but yeah it looks super scrummy. Guys, the weather is glorious. I've got the doors open, fresh air in, sun shining through, and I'm going to make honey mustard gammon because I love gammon and we hardly ever cook it, so I feel like that will kind of really freshen up our week. And it looks quite easy to do. It says it's very hot, so I'm gonna go easy on the spice. Jasper's too, and um, I just, I love it when I can make a meal for all of us rather than having like a separate one for him, so let's get cracking. I really wanted to kind of freshen up our week and just change things about a bit is by getting the children involved in cooking. So Jasper is just helping me to wash the vegetables before I peel them. And yeah, I just thought it was a nice way to kind of bring everyone together because otherwise I feel like I'm in the kitchen by myself. Everyone's either off doing their own thing, moaning because they're hungry, so it's quite nice to kind of bring everyone into the kitchen. I might even put some music on and say, just try and make meal time a bit more about family. <laughs> What do you reckon? It's good. One of the best meals we've had in ages. It's good. You're just saying that because you made it. <laughs> mm. Guys, that was seriously one of the best meals I've ever had. Wasn't it one of yours? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> really good. Yummy. Honestly, I, I, I honestly think it's up there. In my, I don't know what my number one was. Maybe that was my number one. Anyway, that was definitely the best meal I've had in a very, very long time. And it was the... Honey mustard Ow. pork? Yeah. Honey mustard pork. Very good. Guys, it has been a long parenting day today. Pete's working late, taking out five minutes to enjoy my meal. I'm having the Cajun pork and it is so, so good. I've plated some up for Pete for when he gets home. There's plenty left over for leftovers tomorrow. It was so easy to cook as well, so it was fine to do during the witching hour when Jasper was running riot and Jensen was crying. My stomach is very happy right now. Well, we absolutely loved using our HelloFresh box. It was a great way to kind of bring Jasper in and to help me wash the vegetables and to get Pete to help cook. And we all sat together and ate a nice meal. I felt really good that I'd given my family a healthy and delicious and nutritious meal. You know, I felt quite good that I'd made something that I would never ever think to make normally. It just, it really helped to freshen up our week. If you're interested in trying out HelloFresh, then you can get 25 pounds off your first HelloFresh box with the discount code Jessica. I'll leave a link below so you can find all of the information. And on the subject of mealtime, try eating in different places. I was so used to, Jasper would sit at his little table in front of the TV, I would sit on the sofa, but we really tried to kind of bring us all together and sit at the dining room table together. When the weather was nice, we sat outside in the garden, 
sit at the kitchen table, just kind of try and shake it up a little bit. And to make it easier, meal plan. So when you get your HelloFresh box, look at which things go out of date first. You can plan your week's food. You can write it on the calendar. Everyone kind of knows tonight is honey mustard pork. Tomorrow is Cajun gammon. It will also help you to feel a little bit more in control of meal times. Another way that I like to freshen up our week, and this is something that if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that's kind of a huge part of my life at the moment, and that is minimalizing. I'm not a minimalist, I don't have kind of 10 items to my name, but I just have only things in my life that I want, love, and need. And that is a great way to freshen up. Just make it a thing where once a week you will minimalize something, whether it's taking a couple of items out of your wardrobe to donate to charity, going through your cupboards and throwing away those old packets of food that you know you're not going to cook with they don't inspire you they're not going to help you to make kind of fresh and delicious meals clear things out and donate them give things to charity give things to friends it will make you feel really good just to clear out things that you don't need you don't want you don't love and give them to people that might want them, that might need them, and might love them. And lastly, my final way to freshen up your week is to go somewhere new. I find that I get stuck in this rut. We go to the same park, we go to the same supermarket, we go to the same soft play. You get bored and then you don't want to go to these places, but you don't want to go to anywhere new because you're so used to going to these places. So once a week, just make it a pact that you'll find somewhere new. It could be your family day on a Saturday that you're going to find a new country park. It could be Wednesdays when you meet up with your NCT friends, find a new cafe or a new soft play, and that will really help you to freshen up your week. Well those are my four tips on how to freshen up your week, freshen up your days and freshen up your lives. I hope you found them useful. If you've got any of them please do leave them below, I'd love to know. If you do try HelloFresh then please use the hashtag BreakTheRoutine, search for that hashtag as well, you can find other people's experiences on it. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this useful, please do give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, comment below and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye!